a community in grief. The coffins of the 38 who were killed in one of Italy's worst road accidents were surrounded by relatives and close friends in this sports hall of the small town of Montrachello. Most people knew at least one of the dead. Prime Minister Enrico Letta will be among the mourners at a memorial service later today before the coffins are taken away for private funerals. In a Naples hospital, a severely injured survivor recalled the crash. Well, I think that one of the wheels just went and then suddenly there were sparks and flames inside. The bus couldn't stop. It was travelling very quickly. It sped up without stopping. And then we fell. Officials have been examining the vehicle. One report claims its transmission was found a long way from the crash site, while others point to tyre problems. An autopsy has been ordered on the dead driver's body. Questions are also being asked as to why the flyover safety barriers failed to prevent the tragedy.